Okay, so I bound off those stitches, and as you can see, you just uh, you just pull it tight there, and that closes up that little opening, and uh, looks good. We have a finished sock. Um, I did get one loop right here that I'll have to uh, just sort of pull pull in and darn in later. Um, but that's because I, I it either wasn't watching my yarn or I moved the lock a little too far past the edge. You're supposed to just move it barely past the edge of your knitting uh, when you're knitting. So I did get one loop there and I'll fix that later. And, uh, and then the only seam I'll have to sew up is this one right here at the, uh, at my cuff. So not too bad. All right, so I've got two new socks and uh, uh, all I have to do is I have to sew up the seam on the cuff and uh, I recommend Diana Sullivan's video uh, on the mattress stitch. It's, uh, you can find it on, on YouTube and uh, she'll show you how to stitch that stitch vertical seams up so that they're invisible and if you want to match the ribbing go to the Vogue knitting website and there's some pictures there on how to um, do the same technique she does but where to put your needle so the ribbing uh, lines up in the right order uh, and it's pretty easy to do really it's they're the same technique so I welcome feedback from advanced knitters. Um, I'm, new at, I'm new at this uh, Passat machine, so I'm still learning it myself. And uh, I hope you got something good out of the video, and uh, have a great day.